Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Recently, I have just started playing with Apple Motion. I would like to add some visual effects to my video. There is one effect that I like the most, it's called Time Freeze. It's like this. So, a few days trying and learning, I finally figured out how to do that. And I'm gonna share with you right now in Apple Motion. But if you use another apps like Final Cut Pro, Mocha, or any apps, the basic concept is the same. So, here it is how I do that. So, first thing, you open Apple Motion. And then you choose to open a project based on an already existing video file. So it will open the project with the length of the video file and its frame rating and all other settings. Here is the video sequence that we will work on. You can see that's myself, shame on me, jumping like a crazy. And now, one important thing to do is to choose the right frame we will use as feed frame. So, I choose that frame and I will export that frame as a single frame, like that. The exported file will be saved as a PNG image file. It may take a while to process and thinking how to export the file. Just wait some small time. And after it has been exported, you re-import into your project as a new layer, like I'm doing right now. Choose the file you have just created and import it as a layer. Now, what you have to do is to cut your main subject from the behind surrounding. Select the right tool to do that cut. In this example, I used the Bezier mask. Carefully, you can add points to cut your subject like I'm right doing right now. One important thing for the effect to work is to write on your timeline, choose where the layer will appear on your footage, like I'm doing right now. I'm uh, in the timeline, I, as you can see, I'm selecting the imported PNG and I'm starting it appear on my freeze frame. Note that I have marked to make my work easier. The effect is almost done, but take a look at that. I have to add some motion tracker to do the feeling that the image is pinned to the whole sequence. So what you have to do is to add a motion tracker to the PNG image file and then select a, a point in the image, in the overall image, with high contrast, so the computer can easily use it to track the movements of the whole scene. You see, I'm gonna use a high contrast pointing 
to help the, comp to help the computer to analyze the motions in the image. You have to use the match move tool and make it analyze. Just wait, it happens. It may take some time to analyze the motion as it is highly computing intensive task. Depending on the speed of your computer, it can take some minutes. And here it is, the final FX done. As you can see, the freeze frame is pinned to the image and it works very well. Hope you have enjoyed this small tutorial. Hope you can use it on your own projects. Please subscri subscribe to my channel. Usually I do Portuguese videos, but sometimes there are English content rear. See you there, guys.